France is now home not only to Claude Debussy's sunken cathedral, but also a Swamp Abbey, the latest addition to its list of waterlogged worship houses. On March 20th and 21st, visitors and residents of the Abbey at Mont Saint-Michel, roughly 225 miles west of Paris on the shores of the English Channel, found themselves quickly cut off from the mainland, surrounded by the rising waters. The Associated Press reported that land for sheep surrounding the 11th century UNESCO World Heritage Site suddenly became seabed as high tidewater rushed in. This wall of water occurred twice and was dubbed by some the Tide of the Century. Well, more like the tide of every 18 years or so. The high water phenomenon, sometimes called a supertide, is not unique. It occurred in March 1997 and will reoccur in March of 2033. SHOM, a French Oceanic Institute, reported that it's actually a gigantic springtide caused by an alignment of the sun and moon with the earth. This happens twice monthly, with the greatest tidal influence occurring during the spring and fall equinoxes. So, what makes these 18-year spring tides so dramatically large? Remember that total eclipse in the news recently? According to Britain's meteorological agency, a few factors conspired to tempt the supertide. The sun-moon alignment that caused the eclipse, the close proximity of the moon to the Earth at the same time, and all of this taking place as the moon orbited right above the Earth's equator. The phenomenon is worldwide, and it can be as dangerous as any fast-moving rising water. Earlier this year, a French fisherman was swept to his death and parts of coastal North America experienced tides of 10 feet or more. Still, for once, it's somehow nice to know we don't have to say that the answer is global warming.